This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Things are looking ever more ominous in the Middle East these days. And what worries me most, believe it or not, has little, if anything, to do with the traditional hotspots in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. I've been dreading this for a long time. But more and more, it looks like Israel and Iran are ready to go to war. Israeli leaders, with good cause, are worried that Iran soon will develop nuclear weapons. This in itself isn't the primary concern, but couple it with a continuing vow from the Islamic regime in Iran to wipe Israel off the map, and we have a military crisis that threatens to boil over and soon. Now let's face it, threats to wipe out Israel coming from neighboring countries in the, in the Middle East are nothing new. Israel has been hearing this from hostile governments virtually since the country was founded and recognized in 1948. The first Arab-Israeli war, in fact, started in 1947 and lasted until 1949. Then in 1956, Israel invaded the Sinai Peninsula portion of Egypt as part of a multinational attempt to take control of the Suez Canal, an attempt that ultimately failed. In 1967, Israel launched a preemptive attack on Egypt, Syria, and Jordan, which resulted in Israeli occupation of the Sinai Peninsula, the West Bank of the Jordan River, and the Golan Heights of Syria. In 1973, Egypt and Syria responded in kind as they invaded Israel on the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur. Israel prevailed in that war, but only after many tense moments in the battlefield. Other wars, including Israeli invasions of Lebanon, followed. Now, the common thread of Israel's wars until now is their conventional nature. They've been fought with conventional weapons, on the ground and in the air. In any potential war between Israel and Iran, however, everything will be different. Israel has had nuclear weapons for years. If war comes, I wonder what happens if Iran has them too. If that were to happen, major cities on both sides could be transformed into radioactive wastelands. Tel Aviv, Haifa, and even Jerusalem could be under threat of nuclear attack. On the other side, the Iranian cities of Tehran, Qum, and others could come under similar threat. No one knows what the fallout, real and political, would result from such a nuclear exchange. For now, Israel wants to head off a nuclear standoff with Iran, and Israeli leaders say the best way of doing that is to destroy Iran's nuclear production and research centers before Iran can develop the bomb. As Iran gets closer to developing nuclear weapons, Israeli leaders will be under increasing pressure to stop them before they do. The most likely scenario would be a massive Israeli air attack on Iranian nuclear facilities. If this happens, it'll probably be within the next six months, maybe much sooner. That's where we are now. An Israeli-Iran war would be fought primarily in the air as the two nations are separated by the countries of Jordan, Syria, and Iraq. Israel appears to mean business, as its military forces recently conducted major war games in the Mediterranean and demonstrated for the world a long-range ballistic missile capable of delivering nuclear warheads to targets in Iran. As you can see, an Israel-Iran war has the potential to get out of hand and get very ugly in a big hurry, and we're watching the situation closely. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.